Okay, well, everyone has heard the whole story about the fact that when your mom tells you before you go outside, make sure you have clean underwear. Well, here's a fact. Let me put you on to something. Come a little close. Here's how it goes. I started a career in hip hop that spanned over 35 years has led to a movie. Commercials, being one of the most sought after hosts, and I'm the third most sampled voice in hip hop. All because clean underwear. One day on my way to go to the laundromat, uh, Molly Mall happened to live right above the laundromat and he was in his window and he saw me going to the laundromat and he said, listen, um, Shantae, I heard that you could freestyle because I was a great freestyle artist. You know, we discussed the whole Nipsey Russell thing. And we call on the poet laureate, <laughs> Nipsey Russell. <laughs> the young little... people are very different today and there's one sure way to know. Kids used to ask where they came from. Now they'll tell you where you can go. <laughs> I said, yeah, okay. And I was like, but wait. I have to do my laundry. I said, listen, I have exactly 20 minutes to get downstairs before the dryer stops. You know, because after all, I did live in Queensbridge, public housing, and you know, you don't want your clothes to stop in the dryer, people will take them out. So you don't want people touching all over your clothes, so you need to be there when your dryer stops. So we had exactly 20 minutes, 10 minutes for me to go and do something else for my mom, and 10 minutes to make a record. I made the record in seven. It took me a minute and a half to get upstairs to his house, and a minute and a half to get back downstairs to my laundry, and that's how I did Roxanne's Revenge, which was a complete freestyle, seven minutes and six seconds of just Nipsey Russell singing. He came up to me with some bull that, but let me tell you something, don't you know what was whack? So when he came up to me, I told him to step back. He said, you call yourself an MC? I said, this is true. He said, explain to me really what MCs must do. So listen very quickly. Oh, they loved it. They knew hers and they knew mine. Like, it was just, wow. It was like, okay, this is hip-hop here. This is a connection. We got something. Some people say that my um, Roxanne's Revenge is what sparked a, the first hip-hop war. But um, I like to call it the Roxanne Wars. I like to call it um, a door opening for female rappers. I like to call it a game changer. A lot of people have asked me, what is it that you would want people to walk away from the Roxanne, Roxanne film, you know, about Roxanne Shantae. I want them to walk away with the fact that everything that you see on stage, there is a whole entire life behind that. There is something that goes on before we hit the stage. That life isn't just about the microphone and the beats. You know, we are still human beings, we are still people, and we go through a lot. And even, you know, especially, I wanna say, in the beginning, and going back into your early days of hip hop, when there weren't no million dollar deals. You know, some people were going like straight from eviction, straight to the stage, back to eviction. You know, those were the type of situations they were dealing with. You had people going from eviction, to addiction, to fiction. And I want people to walk away with that they can do it, that it can be done. I mean, because look, here it is, my career spans over 35 years. And in 35 years, the first thing you say is, oh my goodness, she's making a movie? Like, thank God it's not a porno. Like, 35 years, I don't know, yeah, one racket, what are we talking about here, people? I want every little girl somewhere to look at my story and feel it's her story and know that it's possible. You know, this is the happily ever after, people. It's the happily ever after. Can you believe this shit? Everyone who has participated into the movie themselves had wanted to be there, wanted to participate. And that's what made it such a great project. We filmed an entire movie in 29 days in less than a year. We were sold at Sundance. You know, that's unheard of. People like, people still walking around with their movies in a can, you know, waiting for someone to, to actually um, come along and purchase their movies. And we started filming in June. We were in Sundance by January and we were sold by February 1st, which is like unheard of. But I think what it is is just, um, it's a Roxanne Shantae thing. You know, that's, that's that Roxanne Shantae factor where things just pop up. A lot of people say that a lot of things have changed in hip hop. And with today's hip hop, they try to say that maybe it's not what it used to be. And honestly, nothing is what it used to be. Everything must go through an evolution and everything must go through a change, including hip hop. So I've embraced that change and I love it. I see the new rappers as my nieces and nephews. So I became like Aunt Shantae. So I'm that fun aunt. I'm that aunt that when they see me coming, they know that the party, they know it's on, we about to be lit. Oh, so I think what it was, was it allowed a lot of people to know that natural raw talent 
you can be successful with it. You know, you didn't have to have all these fancy things. Like my first video cost $1,500 to make total. That fed everybody, clothed everybody, took care of what we were shooting and everything. And that was $1,500 and it still plays today. Look at that. Who would have thought that this whole career would have came from me going to do laundry? So shout out to people who do their clothes. Don't underestimate the power of clean underwear. Look what happened. Right. Give it up for Roxanne Shante. Live on stage. Come on, give it up one more time for Roxanne Shante. Live on stage.